Hello, today we are going to install Qt uh, Creator, the ID from the Qt uh, framework on Linux. So we go to the Wikipedia page of uh, Qt, pronounced Qt, not Qt, framework. The official website is qt.io. And uh, we are going to download Qt Creator. So, products, the main menu in Qt.io webpage, products, Qt Creator ID. Download Qt. Download Qt for open source use. Go to open source. Get start in everything and the hidden gem that we're looking for is download the Qt online installer. We're on Linux 64 bit. Okay, let's download it in today's directory. It finished downloading. Okay, so let's look at the file, F3. It's an ELF file, so it's a Linux binary. Let's run it. We can either double click it after we make it executable or we could have run it from the command line. So dot slash tab enter. It requires a cute account. Let's see how we how we do that. So cute.io Login, you go to create a cute account. Email, password, verify password, captcha, I accept, create account. Then you can uh, log using these credentials. Okay, to make sure that uh, the Qt account was created and you know the correct email address and the correct password. Okay, then you're back to the Qt Unified Linux X64 um, Run Online Installer, where you go next. Choosing the right license for your project. I'm an individual and do not use Qt for any company. I have read and agree to the terms. Next. Next. Okay, help us improve Qt and Qt Creator by allowing tracking of pseudonymous usage data. Okay. Next. Please specify the directory where Qt will be installed. Let's see what I used previously. Let's put it into tilde, so my home directory, slash dot opt. User selectable packages. 
Cute Design Studio. You know what that thing is? Q6 for desktop development. Custom installation. Okay, let's go back to the custom installation. Next. Where's Cute Creator? Doesn't matter what version of Qt I select because I'm not going to use this Qt for anything. This Qt is just sitting in tilde slash dot opt slash Qt for the for it to be used by Qt Creator, nothing else. I'm not going to use it for KDSRC minus build. I'm not going to install it into slash USR or anything else. So doesn't really matter what version of Qt I select. Qt Creator 9 is not, uh, you can't unselect it, so it's selected by default. Animated UIs, Android, Embedded, I don't know what that thing is. Installers for with Linux no, CMake Ninja, Open SSL. I don't know. Debug symbols in case Qt Creator crashes. No. I don't do plugin development. What about these? No. So that's what I'm aiming for. I didn't install anything in under Qt 6.4, under Qt 6.3, Qt 6.2, Qt 5.15. Just keeping what's default selected and that cannot be uninstalled. So Qt maintenance tool, Qt creator 9. Um, CMake Ninja was already selected. I selected OpenSSL. I'm not sure why. Okay, I go next. I have read and agree. Next. Install. So it will download dot seven zip files, which contain the various components that you can select while you install if you do a custom installation. I'm going to use uh, GCC from my Linux distribution, which is Kubuntu 22.10, so from slash USR, from uh, deb files. Let's see how Qt Creator looks like. Okay. So it's in uh, my home directory, slash dot opt, Qt tools, Qt creator, bin, Qt creator. Okay. And now I can uh, delete the previous installation that I had, which was for Qt creator 9 beta. Shift delete. Okay. What application is this one that I started from the 
KD Plasma Start Menu. So apparently the installer for Qt, the GUI installer has created a uh, shortcut, so the test of files such that uh, Qt Creator can be started from the start menu and probably also from Keyrunner. Alt F2, Qt Creator. Okay, let's see how I open a project inside Qt Creator. So I have KDSRC configured. I have built many KD Git repositories using it. It resides into tilde slash KD. So let's find one. For instance, a um, KD framework. Or let's look for Elisa for instance, which is the media player. Okay, so we copy the directory where the git clone of the git repository was uh, run. So this is the local git repository. It has two remotes. So file open file or project, control V, and then we need to select the CMake list.txt file. Okay, and then this is the tilde slash kd slash build Elisa directory, and this is the tilde slash kd slash src Elisa directory. So in src is the git clone, and in uh, build is the CMake build directory. So we need the CMake build directory in order to tell uh, Qt Creator how to build Elisa. So I go Manage Kids. I remove all that's not uh, desktop default. Apply, OK. And then I go Manage Kids again. I keep just uh, the desktop default, so it's italic. import existing build and now I paste the directory with the build. So tilde slash kd slash build slash elisa. Choose. And uh, it has already run uh, CMake configure, but we can run it again. So build run CMake. This is the output. Then we can build the control B build project elisa hammer icon that has output in the top four, which is compile output. And then we can select what to run. So we want to run the um, a test, for instance, media playlist proxy model test this guy. Let's find where the source code for that is. We switch from file system view to projects view. Auto tests. Media playlist proxy model source files, just one file. Let's uh, run the MTU playlist parser simple case. We put a breakpoint in here. We confirm that in uh, switch to projects mode control five in imported kit run as the selected run configuration is media playlist proxy model test and then we start the debugger so start debugging or start a project the play button and the lady bug so it says application started stopped at breakpoint 11 in thread one just one thread in the threads view in the let's delete the other breakpoints Okay, in the call stack, where is the call stack? Okay. 
stack breakpoints. I don't see it. Okay. Let's put a breakpoint in here. So debug, continue F5, step over F10, step into F11, step out, shift F11. So F10. Let's control click on the method from playlist. Put a breakpoint in here, F10. Okay, the file name we can inspect. It's with extension M3U. And then uh, there's a qbyte array which is in fact a string, two lines with backslash and separators. The file name is valid and not empty. The file name ends with m3u, so it doesn't end with uh, .pls. Okay, let's go control click on this method from, from playlist. Put a breakpoint here, f10. It uh, looks at the file content, which is two lines separated with two new lines. So there's a trending new line. And it goes split by new lines. The first thing, the first part of the byte array, ends with uh, .mp3. It converts from qbyte array to qstring, not empty, doesn't start with a comment. Um, does it contain a um, protocol? I know, no, it's just a Unix full path. So it's going to go through here. So URL now has a protocol of so file, colon, three slashes, and then home, etc. We append it to a queue list of queue URLs. The exact same thing for the second line, which is again 2.mp3. Um, doesn't have a protocol, Unix full path. It uh, We'll append it to the result, which is of type QList of QURL. Okay, this time the line is empty. And now it will return the list of two URLs. We can inspect the result or local variables function, arguments, member variables. It returns twice, and then it asserts that the list has count two with the qcompare from qt test. And it's successful. Okay, let's stop the debugger. So that's how I install qt creator, the ID from the project on a Linux machine. Thank you.